Well, what a glorious day it is. It's June 26th. We have arrived at Prison Ministry Sunday. Praise God. I'm so thankful to be here, and I'm so thankful you're here to pray on this special day. And you know, I would ask if your church did something to just highlight and emphasize prison ministry in any way, big or small, would you send us a note, you know, comment on this video, comment on Facebook, wherever you found this, and share that with us. We would love to hear testimony of how your church decided to highlight Prison Ministry Sunday. Uh, my name is Doug Gregan. I'm from the Ministry of New Brothers Fellowship. This is our sixth year of the Prison Ministry Prayer Campaign. Our ministry is a, a prison and aftercare discipleship ministry. Uh, we've been serving uh, inside and outside correctional facilities for the past 18 years. And so I'm thankful and excited that this is Prison Ministry Sunday. We're going to get right to our prayer point, which is a big one, uh, just so important. And let's share it here, okay? The prayer point for today is for chaplains. As they face increasing darkness inside, for them to walk in spiritual authority and anointing, and for them to receive pastoral care, too. All right, so three fundamental points here. For chaplains, as they face increasing darkness inside, for them to walk in spiritual authority and anointing, that's the Holy Spirit's work in both cases, and for them to receive ministry and pastoral care. Let's come before the Lord and ask him to touch these great servants, men and women of God that I know who serve with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. I'm so thankful to be in relationship and to be counted among the chaplains that I serve with in this state. And of course, across the country and around the world. But I, I just want to thank you for joining me in prayer today for these. And understand, this is a, an invisible population of service. Okay, Chaplains are the invisible servants. They are not acknowledged by the body of Christ. They are not seen, recognized. They are invisible. Whether they're institutional, any institutional chaplain is an invisible, generally as a rule, an invisible servant. But understand... They are touching the least of these. Understand, as much as they have done it to the least of these, great is their reward. Amen. They will enter into their rest. And so, Father, I just come to you in the name of Jesus with gratitude on my heart today. And I come to you in the name of Jesus with a love and affection for these great servants, these great ministers, many names that I know in this state. Some they've even passed on into glory. Great men who love you, who serve you, who have loved you and served you and are now with you. And I don't know why that came to my mind, but I'm just mindful of the fact that I know men who have served Christ faithfully in chaplaincy for many, many years, and now they've entered into their rest. Glory be to God. Now, Father, we lift our prayer point to you. You've heard the prayer point for chaplains as they face increasing darkness inside. Lord Jesus, you said the light shone in the darkness and the darkness could not comprehend nor extinguish it. And I thank you, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that as these men walk in the light of Christ, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Lord God, I thank you for these men and women who shine brightly the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank you because I believe with all my heart, Lord, that Christ-centered men and women are not compromising the gospel. They understand that there's no place for compromise and that regardless of how dark it is, regardless of how oppressive the environment is, regardless of how much disrespect or uh, oppression they take from administration or correctional staff, Regardless of how challenging the inmates and the population they're working with is, they stand firm. They stand and having done all to stand. And so that is my prayer. I take your verse, Lord God, this passage of scripture as my guide in this first half, a third of this prayer. And that is that they would put on the whole armor of God. That they would, that they would stand. That they would stand against the schemes of the devil. 
understanding that they wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, truly against rulers of the darkness of this present world age and wicked spirits in heavenly places. And I thank you, Lord God, for girding them with the armor, that they will take up the armor of God. And I pray for those who maybe have uh, not been doing so, that, that maybe are discouraged today, they've been weighed down, they've been challenged by the increasing darkness. I pray, Father, that you would refresh them and right now call them into battle. Let them take up the whole armor of God and stand. And having done all, to stand. And to stand therefore. And I thank you, Lord, for hearing this first prayer because it is key, it's critical to understanding that we can walk anywhere and everywhere in the authority of Jesus Christ. I thank you that the men and the women that I know who serve in chaplaincy understand this, and they go boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus. They know that they have what they ask of you, Lord God, and I thank you for it. Uh, Lord, I bless you right now as we just thank you for uh, fortifying and, and giving them fortitude. Let their face be set like a flint towards you as they enter into dark places, into segregation, into death row, uh, into addiction units, into mental health units, into, into suicide watches. Father, wherever you send them, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the power and the authority of Jesus be upon your servants. We thank you for this right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for the, the, the full of weight and authority that belongs to you, that you have given to your church. Hallelujah. That same power that raised Christ from the dead and, and raised him up and seated him at your right hand, that has been given to the church. You gave that power to the church in whom the end of the world has come. I thank you, Father, for this authority now resting upon these men and women as they go forth. Let the authority of Jesus be in their hearts and be forefront in their attention, in their mind as they're serving. Let them not be intimidated by darkness. Let them not be uh, 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 in fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather let them reprove them. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for calling men and women to a place of boldness and authority as it pertains to the, uh, ch the challenge of uh, the oppression that the spirit of the world is imposing on chaplains. Chaplains who are, uh, many, some of them are, are not permitted to speak in the name of Jesus. Some of them are not per permitted to pray in the name of Jesus. Some of them are not permitted even to minister uh, uh, things relative to Scripture. Now, I know these circumstances are unique and different, varying across this country and around the world, but Lord, it's the truth. And so in the midst of this great oppression, let the authority of Jesus be known. Let every spirit that they encounter, Father, every spirit in a man, every spirit in a woman who would oppose them, let those spirits know that they are subject to the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of Father. Hallelujah. And so I thank you, Lord, for anointing your sons with great authority and an anointing that will also break the yoke of bondage upon those that they serve. Everywhere they go, into mental health, Lord God, break the yoke of slavery and bondage. Into addiction, break the yoke of slavery and bondage. Into rape and violence, in, uh, break the yoke of slavery and violence. Into thievery and criminal conduct, break the yoke and the strength in the name of the Lord Jesus. In sexual sin and... Uh, 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 sex offenders, those who have who have harmed children, those who have done great harm, Lord God, to little to innocence, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, anoint your servants with boldness, O God, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to see them out of darkness into your marvelous light. Take the yoke of Christ, be liberated in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are in gang environments, street environments, break the yoke of bondage in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you for a great anointing that will shatter the strength of the enemy, Father, everywhere that these men and women set their foot. Lord God, you told Joshua, everywhere you set your foot, I have given you that land. Chaplains, I commission you. I call you. Walk in the authority of Joshua. Walk in the boldness of Joshua. Apprehend the land. Take the land as your inheritance. It belongs to you. It belongs to Christ. Hallelujah. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be an outpouring of your Holy Spirit on your service, that they may be refreshed in this boldness, that they may be excited and enlarged in the things of God and the kingdom of God advancing. It's our in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, in Jesus' name. I know you're hearing my prayer right now as we pray in a 
agreement. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, God, oh, glory to you. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, heaven, I worship you. And I thank you, Father, for moving mightily in the midst of your servants in this hour, this last hour, in these last minutes of the last hour. I thank you, Father, for out of darkness, losing the calling wind of dark, losing them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I finally pray in agreement with the prayer. Let the chaplains receive mystery. Pastor, the pastors, their past hearts turn to the chaplains. Father, I pray. Let the past heart turn to the chaplain. Let the past begin building relationship, strengthening, fortifying, encouraging, healing, binding up the wound, touching marriages, in the name of the Lord Jesus, touching children, in the name of the Lord Jesus, building up because of the great sacrifice. So many chaplains uh, 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 live under, right? They live out a great sacrifice. Give up Sunday after Sunday after Sunday and not in regular fellowship with the body of Christ. Oh, God, strengthen your service. And I pray for the body of Christ to embrace these chaplains. I pray for the body of Christ to embrace these, Lord God, who, who sacrifice so greatly. So we lift them before you in the name of the Lord Jesus, and we thank you for joy. Joy, O Lord, strengthening your servants in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, thank you. Joy, God, fill a heart in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for chaplains this week and the rest of this month and in the coming days to experience the presence of God. Lord, I'm just one man. Bring an agreement with whoever's bring with me right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for a joy and a refreshing to be poured out upon these servants in the name of Jesus. For you to anoint them, O God, and let the presence of glory be felt. Let them be strong in their midst and let them be filled with the boldness, the boldness that comes from the grace of God. Understand that they're nothing but vessels, sanctified unto honor, fit for your use. So I bless you today, chaplain, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I bless you today, chaplain, volunteers, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I thank you, O God, for hearing my prayer today. Thank you for those who pray agreement. We give you. Glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now as I'm opening my eyes from prayer, I see that my video is not working. Surprise, surprise. Right? But that's okay. Hey, so today is business for Uh I'm praying on the 25th, but just know that tomorrow, on the actual 26th, uh, I'm excited to be ministering at New Life. God bless you. Thank you for praying. God bless you. Thank you. You'll see me here on June 27th, and I'm excited to pray with you on that day. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. In Jesus' name.